Hello, this is Wayne from GSG, coming to you loud and proud from Houston, Texas, and we are on Breakdown Badasses, episode number 26. We have Adeline up here in the guard tower, where she has been for several episodes. So we uh, just put Heather to work in the kitchen, cooking us a big meal. We also started us a fitness regimen. We did log in, and Abigail is missing, so we will have to uh, wait for that mission to ping, but M Lily also called out that we have a danger of too many hordes. I did not really see anything else um, going on on the map just before I logged in, so we're going to put Adeline to work. Clearing out some infestations. I mean, uh, some hordes before. Oh, yes, and we got lucky with the simulation. We got us another vehicle. That's awesome to replace my truck that I lost and our cop car still sitting here flaming. I'm kind of hoping I have some meds in this old Norma. And we don't. That's my other truck full of weapons. So I guess I will have to purchase me some meds. Our morale's pretty low. That's possibly um, playing a factor into why we have a missing member. I have not played this uh, particular group of people and since last weekend. So we will set out and go to work, and that should be enough. Let's see, we can probably get, get two more. Let's go horde hunting. We're still anticipating this possible move into Snyder's. Just because we have such an awesome group of girls here that we um, I just don't... Well, some of these are going to get caught by traps, which um, is pretty... I mean, it's okay they get caught by traps. That one's going to get caught by traps more than likely. Um, so we will take care of these. Yeah, I was pretty certain that one was going to get caught by the traps, which you saw the little... Smiley face, we still get uh, a morale boost for that. And all these Zeds over here hanging around in the orchard. So we'll cook some and shoot the rest. And that's the end of that horde. We're keeping Gracie pretty damn busy in the infirmary. We're going to try our absolute best not to get someone injured in this episode. And you can tell my injuries and issues are not necessarily always because I'm just kind of playing over the top and a little aggressive. But at level 99... You got to take the peaceful times when you can get them because most of the times it's chaos. And we don't mind the chaos. That's why our badasses are playing on level 99. They like being badasses. What you peeps hanging around my fence for? We got us another horde over here on the other side of these trees. Make sure we don't stumble upon us a feral over here. Um, it's just you. A bloater and a zed that's too lazy to do anything. He's just basking in the sunlight. We do have us a, a feral right here, so we'll take care of this lazy zed. 
I grow the feral so we can take care of him. Come on, feral. We got hordes to kill. And they already crossed the tree line. I'm on this side of the tree line. We'll load back up. And in this episode, I definitely uh, want to give a shout out to uh, Tassie Devil at Natalie1974, Andaly Red Monkey, uh, Marriott Pangerbon Gaming, uh, Ravenous Bison. They all came out and watched my massive, uh, or at least parts of it, my six hour long stream chasing a million. And we will that back up possibly tonight but I really just wanted to give a shout out to you guys uh, thank you for coming out and watching my stream it was pretty fun something new to uh, play around with in the new I will be also posting all of those videos to my YouTube channel and I also want to shout out just to all of the other people it is a holiday weekend um, no one's ever obligated to watch my videos or my stuff. It's not a requirement of mine, but I do have plenty of people. Uh, Luke has, Mr. Echo, uh, Eric, uh, a.k.a. Azermain. Um, I have a whole list of them. I don't make sure I leave anyone out. Uh, English Bull, uh, Han Solo, Dolo. Um, all of you guys are just really instrumental in promoting my channel and uh, giving me some really good feedback, which helps me make better uh, videos. And I really appreciate everything you guys do for me, so I wanted to give you a shout out. And uh, I just really enjoy being a part of this gaming community that we have. Everyone is extremely supportive and helpful of each other and I just really appreciate you guys taking me in and kind of teaching me the ropes on a lot of this uh, how all of this stuff works I'm uh, at this less than a year so I am really a noob at all of this and I'm just trying to get better at it more importantly, I'm just trying to have fun. And I hope the people that watch my videos equally have fun as well. Alright, well that's the end of another horde. Where you got some more, Lily? That other one we might actually have to take a vehicle to, but we've been as brutal on the vehicles as we have been on our camp members, so... Uh, we're just going to trust Adeline on foot for the moment. We got snacks. And as soon as Heather is finished cooking up that big meal, uh, we need to actually start training her up as well. I've always found when you have Heather in your camp, it's best to keep her tired. That doesn't stop her from running around causing you a little bit of havoc in camp. But we got a camp full of women. I grew up with a house full of women, and uh, they're always going to be a cat fight or two, and you just learn to deal with it. I try to keep all my girls happy, give them equal playing time, because they all love equally killing Zeds. They love killing Zeds dead. That's what they do best. They're pretty much hitting anything left to do in this state of decay world that they live in. Other than, uh, whoa, hold on a sec. Somebody want to kill a juggernaut. Who wants to kill a juggernaut? I must have missed that. Diane, she's always wanting to kill some juggernauts. What we got? What we got, we probably do not have the proper stuff to be taking that on on Last foot. Clip. Better make it count. 
So we will provision up because the goal is to make episode 26 injury free. That was a nice epic stomp out of line. We're going to try to be injury free in episode 26. That's the plan. Everything doesn't always go to plan. Hell, that's been my plan the last several episodes. Uh, it just didn't work out for me. But we're going to try really hard in this episode to actually stick true to that and make that happen. All right, I will possibly in the near future have to go sell some stuff to the neighbor enclave. Ooh, we also have an infestation. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We will hop in the, well, actually, this infestation, the I, I can, can almost act. guarantee you is gonna be a cheese one in this field. Or is she in the next field over? She's in the next field over, but that's fine. It's just a little, uh, maybe not. She's at this first little campsite right here. And I say she, it's not even a she. Ah, there you it's are. Mr. Grant. We could use a hand. Let's go. Come on, Grant. Ready, Freddy. You're probably tired of being around all them girls, too, and need something to do. And the infestations in our own orchard, that's even easier. This will give us a little quick morale boost. <laughs> Let's do this. Because this infestation is always cheese. I've never had this that infestation be more than a couple of bullets to clear up or just run over okay. them with your vehicle. I think I'm ready to head home now. All Clear right, out. well, head home, buddy. Because it's kind of like right here, you know, you didn't have to go too far. I mean, I know I looked in here at the beginning of the episode. Okay, we got snacks and some junk for the neighbors, so we'll probably end up taking some of that stuff out of there. Because if I hit probably one more Zed in that car, it's going to be done. And hopefully we move to Snyder's. The simulation will uh, maybe possibly give us a fourth vehicle. Maybe there's even vehicles over there to be found. That's a way to pick up the pace, Adeline. Alright, well that horde's dead. Clean up these stragglers. What you doing, girl? You're supposed to be killing him, not dancing with him. And this is what's a little different than my stream. I'm not really cared about points. As um, long as I'm killing the Zeds, that's all that matters. We don't have to mind our snack consumption because we pretty much have our unlimited supply of cupcakes on this uh, breakdown badasses, so we have no problem um, munching and eating on stuff. So where is she at? Is she in this field? Either way, we do kind of need a little influence. We'll see what's in this bag since we're here. We got some bullets and I'll top off my health with the Tussin. And we'll go see Captain Diane out here in the field. I'm headed out. Or this other farmhouse, wherever she's at. Oh, she's out here 
literally in the middle of the field. How's that, girl? Come on, let's uh, eat us a cupcake. Let's pop some zed heads. Was a swing and a miss. Come on, get off my girl's back. Uh, girl, there happens to be two fat boys standing right over here. You realize that, huh? We'll go ahead and take me a mid. We're gonna put that in here. We're gonna see uh, what we got in here. Some snacks. We are kind of low up. on food at the homestead, so we we'll will throw that in there so we can cook some more. Damn, I should have taken a pipe bomb or something with me, but I do have some flames. I think flames. we can eliminate the worst threat. We'll All right. follow you. Let's oh, move. Great. You don't want to kill two of them. So come on, girl, get in the car. I know, it's all nice, shiny, and not even really bloody yet. It's kind of hard to even believe that it's ours. I'm sure we can go about Zombies damaging that. Go through or go around. So it matches the other vehicles in the camp. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't anticipate that, huh? I actually do know how to dodge every now and then. I just usually don't do it. Alright, come on girl, we done. We just created a hell of a bunch of noise. It would have been nice if you would have jumped in the car, but since you didn't, I will go this way. Make sure I don't get you in trouble. As soon as we're in the clear, we will check out our morale because between killing those hordes, the infestation, and the juggernaut mission, look at that. Our morale is 100% again, so the ladies should be all happy, and we'll be getting happier nice. even I'll run this home. sooner. We'll be ready. As soon as Heather finishes cooking that big meal, because that's the one thing my girls have not had pretty much since the beginning of the badasses, is they have not had anyone. Well, they've had a few guys here and there that have been able to cook meals for them. But for the most part, they have just been eating whatever cupcakes they can scrounge up. Come on, Feral. Come on, all of you fools. This little white sedan needs a little bit of Zed blood on it, make it look appropriate. Had to break my tail light, huh? Oh well, it matches the other cars around camp. Hopefully, Captain Diane's been able to make it home safely. We'll come put this food up in our stores. We'll uh, check to make sure we don't have any other pending missions. And if we do not, we will go ahead and select some stuff to go. I'm almost home. Got Influence. There you go. Come on, girl. Don't say I never you don't gave need you anything. to run over the curb. What you got? Oh, you know. Stuff. We got a whole bunch of Twinkies. And some 9mm bullets. And I'm almost out of bullets. So let's see. We definitely do not need the rolling pin. Heather can cook just fine without it. Oh. <laughs> I said we didn't want somebody injured in this episode, you bastard. 
damn feral just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Sorry for, uh, I tried not to <laughs> generally cuss, but that literally scared me. I'm sitting here flapping my gums and a damn feral making me break my word. I told you I didn't want to get nobody injured in this damn episode. You make me jump out of my damn chair. All right, well, that was uh, f funny in a way. <laughs> Sorry, Adeline, I tried. I tried to keep you safe. I just ain't been doing too good of a job at it recently. But since we're standing here, Sasquatch just down there bitching he wants to join our group. And since we brought Heather into our enclave, they're really the only ones we have left to sell anything to, so he's just going to have to keep bitching and complaining right now about being out on his own. I've not really had the opportunity to play as Sasquatch, which in a way kind of sucks. Because when I was actually playing the Breakdown Badasses when Year One Survival Edition came out, I was actually building up the team. I came up with the concept and the idea, and I wanted an all-female crew. And I was at this exact same location here at the farmhouse. I uh, had a little cheese infestation right here, exactly like we had earlier. I shot those ferals and, I mean, the screamers and Sasquatch spawned immediately right here on top of where I was as the escort. And we cleared the area. And when I started bringing him back to my house this way, he ran that way. And that was the end of Sasquatch. I don't know what happened to him. I know that uh, several other people, I'm pretty certain, I believe, Red has had that issue as well. With uh, Actually, the escort mission's not pinging, and it's possible that I had multiple uh, friendly um, enclaves at one time. I believe Robert Polk, one of our commenters on both mine and Red's pages, uh, had mention that all right so i guess that's all i have i have some other kind of weapons over here i don't know if it's ones i'm keeping or not keeping and i don't know if that really was the scenario that's actually still got bullets in it so i'm not giving them that i'm keeping that 50 cal there's another hundred rounds does that have yeah it's still got bullets in it so we'll actually keep those. We'll come sell this little bit of stuff. That'll give us some operational influence. And like a bonehead, I just realized I did not set my timer when I started this. But that's all good and fine. My mission to pick up to go find Abigail just pinged. So, as soon as we sell this stuff, we're going to go get Abigail safely she back home. Last out here by ourselves. Well, that's just too bad. Group. Not like a cherry case or anything. You three Whoa. strapping dudes should be able to uh, handle this apocalypse by yourself. You don't need some girls to help you out, huh? All right, Abigail. You're over here in Spencer's Mill. Cut it out. When are you coming home to let that heal? Lily, really, I ain't got time to let that heal. We got a girl in trouble. And I wouldn't need healing if that damn feral wouldn't have snuck up on me, but I guess um, he's just doing his part in the zombie apocalypse. That's his job is to try to eat me, I guess. Um, fortunately, we didn't let him do that. But, oh yes, we got another feral coming. I actually hate fighting ferals inside. I prefer to fight him out here. 
I may have actually got him with that flame, which I did. And that's one thing I have noticed. Um, the regular, um, I tried to kick you as soon as I saw you. We got cupcakes and we got the willpower to kick your butts. Oh, come on, fools. I'm trying to kill you. Get with the program. And just die already. You, uh, actually, take me a med. Dead fool. Trying to find my missing girl. Why y'all messing with me? Alright. Come on, fool. You're gonna have to climb over the wall. Hello? You in here hiding out, Abigail? Time to go home. Oh, hell, it ain't even Abigail. It was Gracie. Already. Let's get out of here. I had freaking two missing people. Well, damn, Gracie, you're supposed to be at home. I might need some medical attention. And unfortunately, it just started thundering and lightning like crazy here in Houston, Texas, so. I hope my electricity doesn't go out because that would kind of suck. And I have had that happen only once and it corrupted my video which sucked. But that happened to be when I was playing the badasses before I really knew that the Clio missions uh, were just a limited feature and not a permanent feature. And I was just moving on and on from level of breakdown to level of breakdown, hoping to get here more Clio, are. another Thanks. Clio message saying that, hey, they were back online or whatever. But well, we all now know that that's not true. I can't thank you enough. All right, well, that's good to go. Gracie, I'm glad you're home safe. I sure do need that uh, Abigail mission to ping. And that's the only reason why I mentioned the potential power outage. That's one thing I didn't even check. I actually, this simulation wasn't uh, too bad to me. Um... I started this what do you think about trading resources with other survivors? meal you right when we started. It's gotta be easier than hoping so to even though I right? forgot my timer, um, that meal's pretty much going to be my timer. So that means this episode will be right at 30 minutes. Because that's how long it takes to cook a big meal is 30 minutes. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and leave... Abigail kitted up. And we will call this an episode. We tried really hard to make it through an episode without getting someone downed and injured. At least she's uh, slightly injured, maybe uh, banged up. Uh, doesn't really even tell me. Um, she's just ambitious, which she usually is. But we didn't mess you up too bad, Adeline, which is all good. And we will call this uh, an end to episode 26. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.